Hi Aries, welcome back to my channel. Let's jump into it Aries and see when you will be meeting a soulmate. Okay. Aries. Okay, let's start off with the Page of Swords. Now, the Page of Swords looks back, looks behind him, okay? And he's not confident to move forward or he hasn't left the past. Um, he reflects back, he looks back because he's still drawn to the past or he's still uh, refusing to let go of a chapter, maybe of a person that's still residing in his past. Now, perhaps for a lot of you Aries watching, there might be someone in your past that you still haven't closed the door on. Now, this could be mentally, this could be emotionally, maybe you haven't forgiven them, uh, maybe you haven't had closure, uh, maybe you still think about them. But I think for a lot of you, um, there's a message here that um, when you move forward with your sword without reflecting on the past, that's when you're going to really invite someone um, like a soulmate into your life. Unfortunately, we, we, we do need to say goodbye to certain chapters um, of our lives, of other people, of ourselves, to usher in a new connection and a new divine connection at that. Um, the Page of Swords is also not as confident, okay? Um, so it's important that you're using the Law of Attraction to help you draw this person into your experience. Um, you can see the page here and he, he looks quite, um, I guess, quite hesitant to move forward in the situation. Um, and he, you could even argue that he doesn't really know what he wants. So I think for a lot of you, there might be, I think a lot of, um, th there might be a message here that a lot of thought needs to go into what kind of person you're wanting to attract, how you see your soulmate, okay? Visualization is a very um, powerful tool. Um, to bring in that manifestation in the physical realm. But I do feel for a lot of you, there is some sort of connection or something you need to let go of. Um, could even be healing from the past, could even be trauma, in relationships, maybe trauma in other areas with other relationships, maybe with parents, maybe with siblings. It's not always romantic. It can be something else that you have to move forward with and with confidence. Um, the Page of Pentacles is here. Now, this could represent Earth energy. In fact, you only have Earth and Air that have come up. So, for some of you, you might be eating, might be meeting, sorry, a Earth or Air sign um, as a soulmate. Now, the Page of Pentacles. I feel for a lot of you because he's he has a fixation, and it's the physical realm. I feel for a lot of you there might be a soulmate coming in through work. Or through money making opportunities that could be the case but some of you are meeting your soulmate when you're gaining some sort of material success because that's what the pentacles point to could be a new car could be a certain level in your career um, or it could be when you're when you're fixated on something else it could be a creative idea that comes to you um, it could be you working towards a new home but i feel like it's some sort of material wealth or success um, and I feel like you'll be working towards that and unknowingly, unbeknownst to you, Aries, that is when you're going to connect with a soulmate. So it could be tied into material success in some way because you also have the knight. Now, the knight also can represent a lot of material success, wealth, maybe an earth sign, but it's stability or progression in career or in the physical realm. Now... For some of you, it can be a, a makeover or a change of some kind. Some of you might be meeting in the time of air signs or earth signs even. Um, so Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. During these dates uh, or these months of these signs, you might be connecting with a soulmate. But I feel with the page and the night here, um, this is showing to me that you're going to be meeting someone, uh, meeting this soulmate when you have more material success or at least more stability. Um, and it's not always career, it can be anything to do with the physical realm. It's more stability in a living situation, um, but it's like having a firm footing. The, the Knight of Pentacles, much like the Page, I feel like they're deeply rooted in something. So it's when you're comfortable or complacent or stable 
okay stable with the living situation um, stable with and, and um, consistent with work um, anything to do in the physical realm that's when there's a message here that that is when you're connecting with um, your soulmate okay but again it can point to material success um, it's almost like complacency because the Knight of Pentacles is happy where he is. You know, there is no movement around him. He stands still. So it, they could be coming in to your life at a time when you want things to stay still. You'll, you'll be very complacent or very happy with the way things are. You don't need to move forward. You don't need to move back because you're just so happy, um, so complacent, so grateful for being in the moment, for having what you have at that level and of course, attitude is, um, I suppose that gr uh, attitude of gratitude is absolutely the right way to attract more into your life. And a soulmate is no exception. So I really feel like it's going to be at a time where you want things to stand still. Time could just stop. You could do it all day. Um, so for a lot of you, that's when a soulmate um, is coming into your life. But I do feel it's at a time when there's a lot more stability. You're getting yourself into routine. It could be with exercise. It could be with career. It could just be with your life in general. It could be with creative pursuits. Um, it could even be finding more stability with money or your relationship with money. Um, and that's when this person could be coming in. But most certainly it could be through career, through job opportunities, referrals, income streams, creative pursuits, mobile businesses. Some of you might be meeting your soulmate through these avenues. You also have the Eight of Swords here, Aries, and the Eight of Swords can represent anxiousness, um, being blinded to a situation, not seeing something for what it is, or there's a message here that a blindfold or a veil need to be lifted. I think for a lot of you, I'm not sure if there's a soulmate in your past, okay, that you didn't acknowledge or you didn't see as your soulmate, but there could be someone from your past. Now, for some of you, you might be looking back to the past because you know that this, in fact, is a soulmate connection. For others, I feel like there's a, a message or a lesson to close off one chapter to start in another. Because if we're close, if we're still dwelling on one chapter, we can't open our eyes and see the potential and the possibility of what may come from a new connection. The Eight of Swords can symbolize that this person is going to take you completely by surprise and that you didn't see it coming, Aries. So they could really take you by surprise. They could really sweep you off your feet with the Eight of Swords. Um, it's a card of not knowing or not planning. So it could happen very unexpectedly or when you're least expecting it to. Now, for some of you, it could also indicate that this soulmate is going to come at a time in your life um, where you're either turning a blind eye to love or there might be some sort of mental neglect here. And I suppose you really don't want to be attracting someone into your life if you're in a state of Eight of Swords because this is a lot of confusion um, and this is not a strong, self-confident energy. So for some of you, I think it's important to watch the attitude that you have um, but I think for a lot of you, it's the element of surprise, yes. But I also feel like you won't see it coming or you you won't um, feel it instantly. You, you know, it could be a slow burning connection rather than an instant. As soon as I meet, as soon as I talk, as soon as I engage with them, I know they're my soulmate. So it's going to be a little bit un, uh, mysterious, I think. Mysterious or uncertain. Um and they, this, this person could be coming into your life at a time of confusion because often soulmates come into our life to provide us guidance and, and inspiration and help us grow spiritually and help us become more enlightened. So look, that doesn't take me by surprise. But nonetheless, um, I will leave your reading at that, Aries. I do hope it's been helpful. Thank you again for watching. Don't forget to leave behind a like or a subscribe and we shall be chatting very soon. Thanks again, Aries. Bye for now.